What a meander really is, is the curving of a river. So here's the river channel and it meanders. You're going to have areas of deposition where sediment is being deposited and you're going to have areas of erosion where the river bank is going to be eroded away. The Thalweg is the fastest current in the river and it generally sits around the middle of the river and about a quarter of the way down in depth and that is the fastest stream. And I want you to think about the Thalweg as someone in a rush who bumps into things because they just can't slow down. Almost like a, a, a fumbling person, but like someone who's a little panic stricken. And here's what I mean by that. So you have this meander and the Thalweg being the fastest current is gonna flow down here and it's gonna wanna turn, but it's gonna smash into the side of the river right here. And it's gonna kind of collect itself and then it's gonna go this way and smash into the corner there. And then it's gonna come down, smash, and then go over there, smash, and then come down. And so you can sort of see that this, it's gonna be a little bit more curved than this, but I'm exaggerating the Thalweg here. And really what's happening is you've got this fast current, it's moving so fast, it can't turn in time and it smashes into this spot. Okay, so we're gonna have wherever this Thalweg smashes into the bankment, that's where erosion is gonna happen. So I want you to imagine 100 years later of constant bombarding in these particular areas, you're going to have erosion and the river is going to begin to erode away in an area like that. So over time, those areas that are continually being eroded are going to begin to dig into the sides here and it's going to distort the river's curvature. But something else is happening. What we also have is we have deposition happening. When the water and the thawway come in, right, and it's kind of curving around like this, and here's the thawway, the fast current. See, the inside corner areas, water moves slower. And the currents that are happening here slow down as they turn around this corner. As the water slows down here, it's going to start to deposit river sediment in areas like this. And erosion happens here, but on the inside, where water is slower, you're gonna have deposition happening here. The creation of a point bar. And erosion's happening here, so that means deposition must be, well, I guess deposition's gonna happen in and around this area. And then as erosion happens here, deposition will begin about right like that. So the areas of pink are areas where you're going to have land growing. So as you can see in this picture now, we have the Thalweg, you have the cut bank. Those are areas where the river embankment is being cut away or eroded. And you have the point bars, areas where sediment is being deposited because the water is moving slower in those areas. Now you might be asking yourself, hmm, what's going to happen when this cut bank continues to get eaten away. When this happens, the Thalweg is going to eat through this section and it's going to begin to smash into this part of the meander and eventually eroding that point bar, which was just created, it's going to erode it away. This part's a little bit crazy. So you have a narrow channel here. And as the water goes to the narrow channel and it's going at a particular speed, you're going to notice the channel at this point widens. And as a result of widening, the water is going to slow down right here because the channel all of a sudden widens. And yes, it narrows, so it's going to speed up here and it's going to slow down right there. And what happens every time water slows down, you have deposition. So as the sediment is being carried down in this from the river, the moment the water hits here, it's going to start to slow down and it's going to begin to deposit sediment. And as it continually to deposit sediment, it's going to create kind of like a point bar and it's going to close off this part of the meander. And then the water is going to speed up, pick up some sediment, and then it's going to slow down 
And again, it's going to deposit sediment along here. So what you're going to end up with is a separate lake. Over time, you get the creation of an oxbow lake, and this can become a recreational lake. And the river meander is now essentially gone. It doesn't mean it's not going to meander somewhere else, but if you look in, uh, in and around Mission where you have Hatsik Lake, this is exactly what has happened in that particular area. Now I want to return to this meander for a second. And you're going to notice I put an A and a B there. Now this is a bird's eye view. This is looking down at the river. But from a side profile, I want you to imagine you're in the river now. This is the side profile of a river. So imagine you're now in the river, you're looking sideways, this is the bottom of the river, this is the surface of the river. You'll see on the left hand side of the cut bank, it's abrupt, it's not gradual, because this area is continually being eroded away as the thawig hits it. Over here on the right side though, you have the point bar. This is where deposition is happening. Sediment is being deposited because the water is moving slowly. So this area is gradually being built up and so it's, it's a gentle slope going into the bottom of the river.